I got a question to you. Do you think you're a toxic gamer? It doesn't matter what you think, right? Because apparently they are saying that gamers are toxic, every gamer on planet needs to be controlled, and they're now launching a social credit-like system. I'm not even kidding here, not, not even joking here, okay? We're gonna get right into the video. Like this video if you think you're a toxic gamer. Dislike the video if you think there are more than two genders, but guys, get ready for the climax, man. We got the CCP re regime coming to video games as well, bruh. Roll it. has come to an end um as this effort did not live up to hi our high standards we decided to end this program but hope wait the conversation it. It. it has raised around ending harassment and gaming continues these are the bully hunters they're pro elite gamers who would like to use their skills in gaming to help in game harassment and in game harassment uh -huh. and make it a more respectable welcoming place for everyone uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Gay. So that's the backstory on Bully Hunters, a complete and total disaster. Yeah. Well, today we have uh -oh. a brand new group standing against toxicity and harassment in video games, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to <laughs> Melanin Gamers. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm not making this up. Man. I'm not making this up. This is not a meme. Welcome to Mel Melanin Gamers, a gaming community promoting diversity and inclusion in the video game industry. We are gamers. This is not a parody. This is not a joke. Crazy, this is Melanin, Melanin Gamers. And, and wait, hold up, right? Wait for the toxicity rating because the Call of Duty is also involved. GK is also involved. They are trying to put toxicity ratings on the games. Some games have 70% toxicity rating. Other games get up to 100% toxic gamer uh, rating as well, guys. And, and I gotta show you like this one real quick, right? You might have heard the story, but in one of the biggest cash heists, yeah, a cash heist happened in Los Angeles history and thieves stole tens of millions of dollars and we're hearing approximately 30 million dollars. You wanna know what will happen if these is find out they're gonna blame GTA they're gonna try to ban GTA 6 they're gonna say don't let gamers play GTA 6 meanwhile all of us know if you guys if you guys got Twitter follow me on Twitter let me show you some kisses but um, we all know that it was Michael Franklin and Trevor right yeah. these thuggies were behind this but nah bro GTA needs to be banned that's what they're gonna this say. is their about us section on their website melanin gamers is dedicated to increasing diversity and inclusion in the video, video games, games industry it is more than a gaming community it is a show of support a cry for some desperately needed change as a safe space and online in <laughs> an online and ear in real life community for people of color to come together what <laughs> share ideas and feel yo as a brown man bruh i'm sick and tired of everybody playing that race card bruh like uh, come on man miss me with that <laughs> miss me with that kaji represented we want to be seen and heard okay it is it is man a necessity is in the yeah. current climate we are living in and we believe that by creating this platform we will be able to strive towards changing an industry so that it reflects all of us who are yeah, part yeah. of it we are yeah, not yeah. calling for I mean, me these things don't want to change gaming these things also want to change your gender too bro like that's what's happening right now bro like let, let's be real these things want to change everything that's about gaming right now needless tokenism black girl magic but a real shift in the tide from Wait the grassroots it. to the very top our mission melanin games is a community that is creating a platform to promote diversity and inclusion in the video game <laughs> industry <laughs> with a special focus on content creators. Fucking Dang. current day Californian shit! Whiles also providing a safe space for people of color to come together and game. Same game. right! Yeah. That is Melanin Gamers. Okay. Now, All Melanin right. Gamers has released this absolutely glorious, glorious uh, video right here, and we're going to take a look at it. Listen to this. All right. Holy shit. Yeah, warning, this video contains graphic content. Oh no, every game gets a rating from the ESRB, it rates the game's content. Yeah. Yeah, pretty normal, yeah, T14. Okay. Wait for it. But what about the game's online community? Dun yeah. dun dun. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. We 
are so back, boys. We are so back. You have the toxic rating. The world's first rating system for gaming online, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, created by serving to show parents and gamers how toxic the communities really are. Your mother's a fucking whore. You're the only one in your phone. Somebody fucking die. Oh, I mean, listen. Only 78 person. That needs to be 100 person right now, Bruh. though. That needs to be 100 person right now. It's only 70. Yeah, hey, come on, guys. You call yourself a toxic city rating meter. Get your ass over. Put that. Put that second to 100 percent, bruh. Fortnite. I can show you my old bomb table. You left 60. Yeah, call me stupid. Okay, call me stupid is considered toxic as well, bro. I I just can't, bro. Like I just can't. <laughs> Wait for the good part, guys. Oh, and real quick, before we get to the good part, guys, I want to say I have a second channel. This is where we upload paranormal, UFO content, conspiracy content every single day. If you're into that content, definitely check it out. I also started a brand new channel where we talk about the monies, how you can make money with content, YouTube content, and how you, we also talk about finances, stocks, uh, forex trading, investing, and all that. This is the money channel. This is where we get our bread up. We don't chase the pom pom here, okay? So definitely check it out if you want to get your bread up. And all right, let's get back to the content here Boo -boo. the watch gaming's first community watch dun 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 that means you're gay that's where we are with melanin gamers now if you go through the comment section of melanin gamers oh, no. they are getting absolutely annihilated yeah. i mean comment section would be over 200 percent toxicity absolutely um, <laughs> and that's exactly what needs to happen absolutely. with clowns like this because this is laughable this is pathetic no you are so dumb you are really dumb for real. Grumps put this tweet out that says, New website lets you report game communities for toxicity. It has no way to verify if you have you play played the game. the game, and people can say whatever they want. Yeah. So I decided to report Minecraft hate. And he's got a whole thread on this that is absolutely fantastic. I had to report on the rampant ERP in Minecraft servers, as well as toxic redstone substance abuse. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. In every Minecraft server I visit, uh, there are constant fart jokes. Are these are players like, like 10 <laughs> years old? And he's got like, uh, breaking it down right here. I get called Steve all the time, and I found it racist. Yeah, the yeah. levels of violence in the game are astounding. It's like, could you imagine, like, you're just talking, and nowadays you cannot even joke around, right? Because let's be real, GTA got the AI chat coming in this side, right? Maybe it's already here, I'm not sure. But Call of Duty and Xbox, they got the AI chat feature, right? Especially for Call of Duty. So it's like you might, it's all about context, right? And when you are with your homies, obviously you joke around and you say some crap that you don't necessarily mean. Is that also considered toxic? I mean, you might say one thing that the AI might not like and you get banned. And how many times we heard cases like that? I sometimes also get comments in my comment section from you guys that you apparently got banned because you said a word that the AI didn't like, that the AI found problematic and toxic. So we, we got that going on and make no mistake, this is like the, the CCP situation <laughs> coming to gaming. And now you suck as well to have this as well. Come on, man. These suckers are actively trying to ruin gaming. Now, okay, yeah, I, I get the, the idea of, hey, we got to make like gaming uh, gaming uh, a little bit more friendly uh, you know I, I get it like there's like innocent BBC bundles in Call of Duty and we also have a friendly UAV online. yeah Call of Duty might have a friendly UAV online but we also need to make our spaces friendly and a lot more like uh, you know can a brother perhaps not hear my mom's a whore 24 7 okay I get that but like this is not the way to do it dog you if you try to do this guess what it's gonna happen gamers uh, gamers are gonna do it more you know, Sega's gonna do it more. Sega's gonna say even more crap. It's like pe people that don't even use any like terms like that, they're gonna start bad mouthing online as well. For the most part, I don't even use online. Like I, I just have auto mute. Not that I hate or or not that I cannot handle. I, I cannot. I, I, I cannot handle the toxicity. It's just that whenever I'm I'm playing a game, I'm just playing a game most more than more uh, ten times. Nine out of ten times I'm playing the game without the sound. I'm just watching a YouTube video in the 
background or listening to a podcast uh, and I'm just like chilling out in games, right? Unless it's a story game, in story game, no comms needed, right? Or you're gonna go in Discord and talk with your homies right there. This is absolutely unnecessary, bro. They blew me up with TNT while calling me Steve. This proves the racist motivations of violence. They even assumed my gender oh, when no. I refuted to identify myself. They blew me up with TNT again. Oh my gosh. You can say whatever you want. They can say whatever you want. Because we're boring. We're so fucking boring. Thanks for letting me report the hate and toxicity in Minecraft melanin gamers. Sure hope you're... Uh, like the video for two genders. Dislike the video for if you think there are more than 10 million genders. Very not botted and very fair report reporting system doesn't get gamed okay. uh, i'm sure every major game study out there would love to use your data to prove gamers, gamers suck. suck yeah Fuck yeah. Off! <laughs> yeah this is just insanity this is laughable laughable you, honestly bro that heel versus babyface rant and his rage moment now it's kind of different it's a certified hood classic bro when that happened, when that happened, I, I remember I was saying, like, I, I was always on his side, right? I, I mean, like, he was getting canceled, and I was saying, guys, like, he's not necessarily mad about the pronouns. He's more so mad about the fact that in every game, every movie, this agenda is being pushed down. He's mad about that, but obviously act ma'am. I love the guy. I mean, I love the con. I love the guy's content, but he completely lost it, right? So he started attacking, called him, like, hey, gorilla shit, man, and, and he need to be shot down by a bear tranquilizer. He did say Say that and right now he's getting cancelled as well and I don't seek his cancellation I don't want him getting cancelled I don't want to get I, I don't want to see anybody getting cancelled or video game stuff we simply just are tired of the woke agenda being pushed down our throats 24 7 that's basically where we at we just want a good game we all up for diversity we all up we, we don't care whether you are straight bi gay or uh, lesbo or trans we just don't we don't care y you got your own battle that you're fighting against you can do that i got my own battle here too bro i'm fighting my own war here in my head i, I just want to play a game chill out and not like get uh this agenda pushed down my throat we, uh, most people are simply live and let live right that's basically where we at but now like heel versus baby face rant kind of hits different right because like all of the sweet baby ink situation all of the woke stuff that's going down in gaming i mean listen man it's only getting relevant from here on out for sure though beyond belief i can't believe how ridiculous this is now I want i've talked about have... sweet baby ink a lot and we've talked about black gamer girls and now we have melanin gamers and of course you see right here it's a consultancy group once again they all go with this nonsense that they are a consultancy group and we all know that that is laughable yeah. beyond belief they are meant to Bruh. destroy everything that they get involved with they yeah. are meant to yeah. destroy every single bit of it i saw this tweet uh -oh. over on their account where it says uh -oh. the fight of the century godzilla versus kong uh, what an epic movie and it says a huge thanks to warner brothers uk for the invite so i quote to it i says gets invited to a premiere of one of the biggest uh entertainment companies in the world are from one of the biggest entertainment companies in the world, claims to be a victim and not allowed to play video games. Okay, that truly did happen or what? That Did that happen or, or what? Get... Yeah, he's gonna say the F word, YouTube don't like it. I, I mean, I'm not like, uh, I'm not sensitive to that word, but it's, YouTube is very sensitive, so we're gonna just go two seconds. Uh, right. Here. <laughs> he's trying to point out by clowns like this, yeah. they yeah. despise you. The bully hunters will only engage with other harassers through gameplay and will eliminate them from the game using their skills and talent, not harassment. Are you retarded? Now, if you go over to their <laughs> website, The Watch, they have the ah, there it goes bro like okay why do i even try to skip on these words uh, ah! i mean i'm not against that but it's like come on youtube it's just like a hilarious video okay don't do it man I, i'm my 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 pronouns are they them okay come on don't do it I, i'm joking around by the way like some people would take it literally i'm not that li i'm not that stupid okay like i'm, I'm a man <laughs> if i look like a man i'm a man okay <laughs> i'm a man okay like uh, I don't toxicity need that rating the world's first rating system monitoring racism gender discrimination and overall toxicity in online gaming communities and they have a breakdown of what games they can go over call of duty fortnite minecraft apex GTA? legends valorant animal 
Animal Crossings? Bruh. What? You're gonna go Bruh. after an- Bruh. Like, dog, y'all suck as crazy, bro. These bozos crazy, though. Like, holy effing shite, mate. Like, what's happening? <laughs> what's happening in video games? Why y'all, why y'all suck as are trying to, like, control everything in gaming? Why y'all trying to do all of that crap? But why, why? There's gotta be a reason. There's gotta be. Man, these suckers are absolutely out of their goddamn minds, bro. Animal Crossing New Horizons? Do you know why they're targeting Animal Crossing New Horizons? Because it's popular. Because this is not about toxicity in video games. This is about going after popular video games, and yeah. that is it. This is the popular video games so that they can get attention. Oh, man, GTA 6 is kind of doomed at, at this point because already like we had some circus trying to cancel the game and surely some people are believing that it's gonna be woke which i can absolutely understand because what what rockstar have done in gta 5 and remove crap and censor this censor that added like a lot more stuff here uh yeah right and even i believe that gta 6 is gonna be woke but to what degree i mean we have to wait and see is it gonna be all trouble to the point where they're also pushing agendas down over throats or it's gonna be like like, hey, you know what? Like, they're just real. Uh, uh, the GTA is basically a parody of real life, right? And, and if that's only what's gonna happen, then that's fine, right? Like, they can have some a little bit of woke crap. If, if it's not pushy, because it's gonna have that crap. And GTA always had that, but they never really try to, like, push it down their player's throat. It felt natural, it felt real, and they simply always try to be the the parody of real life and they always try to have exaggerated jokes and all that if if, it, if it's like that then i don't think many people will have problem with but if if it turns out that they're pushing agendas down people throats then absolutely a lot of people will uh, have a problem and this is gonna cause like ww5 on the internet and obviously i'm all <laughs> i'm ready to actually cover that but it's like i i don't want to see gta 6 turn out that way right like um, i waited and i'm sure like you guys waited <laughs> how many years how many years over a decade plus bro like can you guys leave gta 6 alone bro like just one game okay just come on bro just one game we just want to play we don't care we all are for diversity bro we don't care what your skin color is what your gender is what your ethnicity race whether you're lgbt or non-lgbt we really don't care we are like live and let let live when you guys do this you guys are actively dividing people right now you really are dividing people and, and this is what's causing all this hate there was no i, I mean yeah I, I get it and racism is one of those things that it's like you cannot really stop it. You're just igniting it. And, and how many times we're seeing the community managers being actively racist towards their their player base and all that? What about that? You're not, you're calling gamers racist, but like, what about the community managers of these set studios? They're these like, come on, bro. Like, yeah, like for targeting these games and claiming that they are toxic. Freaking Animal Crossings. Get the hell out of here, man. About. Rocket League, Destiny 2, Halo Infinite, GTA Online. Coming soon. <laughs> <What? laughs> ah, ah! Okay, so it's coming soon. Halo coming soon. Destiny 2, it's coming soon. Call of Duty, it's already here. Fortnite, it's here. <laughs> Oh man, it's over again. All these games have in common, mega popular. So yeah. if you go to Call of Duty, it says Call Wait of Duty is 78% of people experiencing toxicity playing Ooh. Call of Duty online. Survey results, 75% racism. You know, I haven't played Call of Duty in well over a year yeah. because of their non- Yeah, they removed the skin. Yeah, leave the kids alone. Since this report makes me want to play Call of Duty again. We're back, baby. For a modern gaming audience. These results are like, Jeremy, you need to start playing Call of Duty again. Gender discrimination, 67%. Gotta bump those numbers up. I'm doing my part. Direct violent threats. Yeah, like 70, like what? It, it needs to be at 100%, bro. Like 100, 110% though. What? It's a video game about shooting people what are you talking about direct violent threats it's a video game and 36 percent of female gamers 
have literally stopped playing a game or stopped playing games altogether because of this. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> Sexual content, 74%. Crude humor, 79%. Crude humor. Oh, goodness. Yeah, show them the no Russian mission from the original Modern Warfare 2 book. Controlled substances conversation, 82%. My goodness. Let's go to Fortnite, one of my oh, favorites. No. Racism, 69%. Fortnite, <laughs> gotta get them numbers up, baby. Gotta get those numbers up. Did not like that. Took a couple, took a little bit uh, off the score for me, to be honest. Gender discrimination, 66%. Direct violent threats, 85%. <laughs> Sexual content, 80%. 80? Crude humor, 84%. Okay, uh, define crude humor. I need to Google that later. Not bad, Fortnite. Controlled substance conversation, 70%. 3%. My it is Joe, guys. It really is Joe. And I'm not sure if you guys were able to see this video or not. If you have not, guys, I, I, I swear to God, man, you need to check out what happened. This is absolutely happening under God's hot sun. And yeah, under God's hot sun, they are deleting videos as well. Click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.